Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, it's me Cowboy Jack and today I am really excited. I've got this really cool learning toy here with me today and we're going to learn all about counting some numbers. You know one skill you can learn in life that's really really important that you can use forever as long as you live? That's math. Adding and subtracting, counting things. I mean if you go to the grocery store and you know you need three lemons, how are you going to know when you got three lemons other than learning how to count and mastering that skill? It's really, really cool. You can use it in everyday life as well as whatever career you choose. I don't think there's really any careers out there, whether it's a doctor, a lawyer, a roofer, a plumber, an electrician, all of those skills use math nonstop. It's really, really fun. I know it can be a lot to take in all at once, but once you get used to it, it just becomes nat natural habit to you. It's really cool. But here's Mr. Monkey. He's really cool, right? I have the number one, and that's a one. I'm gonna put it on this side of the scale here, and I bet if I take one of these little monkeys and put them right here on the scale, it's gonna level out. Look at that. Now, I know I have the number one and one monkey there. Now, if I take another monkey and put him on the scale, I'm gonna to try to not knock any of them down. Now, wait a second, that's not even. We have one, two monkeys here, but the number one here. So it's off balance, right? Let's see what happens if we put the number one down and pick up my friend the number two and put it on the scale. Let's see. And now it's perfectly even again. How cool is that? That's cool because we have the number two and two monkeys. Now, say we did something silly, like if we took this number two off and we put the number four here. Ooh, I don't think that number four is gonna stand up for me. But there's the number four, but we only have two monkeys. Well, how do I get things back to even? I've got one, two monkeys, so how many more do we need? Let's think about it. One, two, and then I need four total. So that's one, two more. Two plus two is four. Okay, let's grab two monkeys and see if that levels it out. Ooh, I don't want to tip over our monkeys. Uh-oh, they're getting a little shaky on me. It's really hard to balance monkeys up here. Look at that. Now it's perfectly level again because we have one, two, three, four monkeys, and the number four. You know, all this monkeying around kind of reminds me of something. You know, one time we went to this really cool place and I got to play with some actual monkeys. Well, maybe they weren't monkeys, but they were lemurs and they're in the monkey family. It was so much fun. Let's check that out for a second. Wow, I'm in here with some black and white rough lemurs and this guy's grabbing Cowboy Jack's hat right here. Hey buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at him, he's having a real good time. You wanna come hang out on my shoulder? No? Look at these guys, they're really big. They're really fun. Whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> I've got all these lemurs right here in my lap. What's up, buddy? Smelling my face? <laughs> you guys have any questions about these guys? Any crazy things you want to know about them? So where are these guys from? These guys are from Madagascar, which is a small island right off of Africa. These guys are from Madagascar, you hear that? That's really cool. Have you touched them yet or not quite yet? No, I haven't. You should go ahead and touch with that two fingers right along your back. So now that you've touched them, who would you say is softer? These guys or a cat? I think these guys are pretty these soft. These guys, the reason why they're pretty much as soft, you're probably softer than cats, is because they actually have two tongues. They got one tongue for eating and tasting just like we do, and that second tongue is almost like a cat's tongue, so it's combed and barbed, and they'll use that to clean themselves. Wow, did you guys hear that? These guys have two different tongues, one for eating and one for cleaning themselves. I think they really like Cowboy Jack. <laughs> Look at this guy, hanging out right on me. Come on up, buddy. Wow. I've got a lemur right on my back. <laughs> now he's trying to go up on my hat. This guy's coming in for a ride too. I've got a lemur hand right here in front of me. <laughs> that is so neat. 
Whoa, he's wobbling a little bit. All right. <laughs> Come on down, bud. Ah. You know, this cowboy hat's used for a lot of different things. It's never been used for a lemur seat before. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. This guy's just really hanging out with me. He likes me a lot. I love how these guys stand up on their back legs. That's really funny. It's crazy because they do have fingerprints just like we do. So if you were to give them a phone, more than likely they could put their fingerprint right inside of it. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> look at his big old hands right on me. They look a lot like our hands, except they have hair all over them. <laughs> I think he's found a comfortable spot to hang out. I'm covered up in lemurs. <laughs> All right, well this lemur encounter has been a whole lot of fun. This guy's been with me ever since I sat down. I think he really likes Cowboy Jack. All right, buddy, well I can't stay here and pet lemurs all day. I gotta get going. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up, all right? There you go. <laughs> All right, now those monkeys were really cool. There was even that one kind of hanging out on my hat and trying to make a little seat out of it. That was crazy. I had never been so close to so many monkeys. And you would only do that under supervision of a professional zoologist who knows how to care for those monkeys because they're wild animals, right? But here I am back counting and I have all these tons of monkeys around. Well, let's just see something a little different. You know, we played with the numbers like when we took some of these guys, like six. Let's see how many monkeys we need to add to make this level out. Now these monkeys are a little bit small, so squint your eyes really good so you can see these monkeys. I'm gonna drop them one by one and we'll count together how many it takes until this is level, to level out with the number six. I think I have a good guess at how many that's gonna take, but let's do it together. So there's one monkey. Well, we didn't really move at all that time. Here's monkey number two, monkey number three, hmm, not much movement. Monkey four, monkey five, we've got some movement guys. Monkey number six, look at that. And magically again, we've counted to six together. The number six is on this side and it's all leveled out. How cool is that? See, you can use counting in so many different ways. I mean, there's a million things you could count. If you went fishing, you could count how many fish you took, how many casts you took, uh, how many baits you brought with you. There's so many things you can do. You can also count how long it is until it's time to go to bed. You can count out two minutes when it's time to brush your teeth at night or in the morning. Oh man, I can think of a million ways to count and it's so cool. Let's see something else here. Whoa, did you see that? If we take this six off, then these monkeys weigh a lot. That's six of them, they're pretty heavy. Ooh, <laughs> let me get those guys out of here. But let's, I, we, we have a ton of monkeys here, an absolute jumble of monkeys. Let's see if we can get them all on two different sides and see if we can make them level. That would be interesting. Mm. Mm. Whoop, too little. Here we go, let's put one over here. Actually, if we do that right there, it's almost perfectly level. And I think it is actually level. My table's a little wonky today. But that means we have an equal number of monkeys on each side. Well, I wonder how many there are. Let's grab these and we can count them together. You guys mind catching monkeys for me if I just toss them to you? I think you can catch them, right? All right, here goes. One monkey. Oh, you caught that one, good job. Here you go, two monkeys. You almost had that one. I saw it fall on the ground, we won't worry about it. We're never great at something when we first try. That's why practice makes perfect. That's why you try and try again. You keep catching monkeys before you know it, you're a regular monkey catcher. Okay, well, we've got two monkeys, three monkeys, four monkeys, five monkeys, six monkeys, seven monkeys, eight monkeys, nine monkeys. Nine monkeys, that's a whole lot of monkeys. So we have nine on this side and nine on that side. That means together, nine plus nine is 18. But that's really big math. That's another lesson for another day. That was so much fun. You know what? You can have so much fun counting no matter what you do. 
I don't recommend throwing monkeys all over the place, but I was just having a little fun with you guys, making sure you were still awake out there. You didn't fall asleep on me, did you? All right, well, let's just throw another two monkeys here, two monkeys here, and that together makes four monkeys. That is so cool. There's the number four for four monkeys. Two and two makes four. We're gonna work a lot on addition together. It's gonna be so much fun. And I'm really glad that you came with me today to learn all about these monkeys counting. I mean, you can use anything to count. Today I have these monkeys, but anything around your house, you can grab it and practice your counting all the time. You just take them and one, two, three, four, and so on. It's really cool. Now, we don't always just count monkeys, right? Sometimes we have to count real numbers. Like this right here is the number 10. I'm gonna put the 10 on here, right here. And now, which one's bigger, 10 or five? Here's the number five. Let's put them on the scale and see what Mr. Monkey has to say about it. Just as I suspected, the number 10 is much bigger than the number five. It's actually two times as big. So how many would we need to add to this five to make it as heavy as this 10? Well, let's count together. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, well that's five more. So let's grab five monkeys and let's see if that levels things out. One, two, three, four. We're getting close. And five, just like I thought. So now we have five plus five monkeys equals 10. That is so fun and you can keep going on anything. I mean, so say we put the number uh, the number, hmm, let's go number six here. Right here, let me see how good I can balance it. Okay, we've got the number six and then the number five, but we also have those five monkeys in the dish. Woo, my six is on a roll. Well, how could we balance this out? We would need to take a few of those monkeys out of there, right? So let's go ahead and do that. I took one monkey out. Woo, the six fell. I'm gonna put it on its side so it can stand up a little better. Two monkeys out, three monkeys, four monkeys. So now we only have the number five and one monkey. But that's curious because hey, we've got the number six right here. Stay put. Okay, I did it. We've got the number six here and then we've got the number five and one monkey. So five plus one equals six. How cool. Man, math is really fun. I mean, there's a million ways to have fun with math. You know, you can, you're never great at something when you first start. That's why we always practice. Practice makes perfect. The more we do things, the more it becomes second nature to us. Second nature or instinct is like when we just automatically know how to do something. So we work really hard at math to make that part of our brains. And then every time you need to use it, it's already right there up in your noggin for you. It is really, really cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And until next time I see you, bye-bye.